In this video, you will learn how to work with a linked spousal return. First of all, we will link the ID section. For that, click new client and input data for first spouse. The moment you will choose the address with autocomplete address, the address will come down here. And you will click on spouse. And the moment there is a button, you will click it. All the data, common data of the spouse will load it on this section. And you will enter the data, other data for the other spouse. Save the file, identification section is complete. Now we are ready to create a new return for them. So tax year 2020, new return. Tax year 2020, provinces Ontario, and we will create a return for them. So once we create the returns, the identification data will be automatically loaded in this part. We will choose the marital status. We will ask, address the marital status question. Did you did your marital status change during 2020? And do you want to prepare your return together? Now this question will link one spouse return to other spouse. If you look at the top menu, just above review and file. Kevin, a name is appearing over here. Now I will click on this question. Do you want to prepare your return together? Yes. Now, if you look at Molly's name is appearing on top now. So now the both returns are linked to each other. The data will be synchronized to optimize the maximum benefit for the couple. We will address some uh, major question of the ID section about the address and the mailing address, foreign income property and citizenship question. Now you see that background and the colors scheme is being changed. It means that we are on the other spouse profile. So we reconfirm the same residency questions foreign income questions and citizenship questions to this return. Also, a common questions, which was, did you live together throughout the year? That will be by default uh, transfer from one spouse to another. If they have dependent, we will click yes and we will input the data for the dependent. SIN number of the spouse, oh, sorry, uh, dependent and relation of the dependent.
if there is no income of the dependent, we will put a zero in it. We'll click next, dependent is added. And to add another dependent, we will click add dependent and we will enter the name of other dependent. Same, we will verify if the other dependent has any income or not. Click next. Now this dependent information is synchronized and optimized for both of the taxpayer according to their income and benefit uh, eligibility. Taxpayer work, and we will check mark the income slips, what they have. And after check marking this, click next. And now you will right away switch to the spouse perform, profile. And we will check mark. The moment you will click next, you will be back to the Kevin's file, which is, and to punch in the data for that. Province of employment and information of their employment income. Click next because we only check mark one slip. The moment we enter the data of a slip for one spouse and click next, it switched us to the next spouse profile. And now we are entering the data for the second spouse. Employment data is complete. Now you are seeing the competitive income summary for both spouses side by side, Kevin and Molly. If they have any other information, we will uh, pay attention on the questions in the next step. And if they are not qualified to claim anything, we will continue to click next. So they don't have RSP. If they have any deductions of these things, we will claim. Otherwise, we will click and next. Now, make sure that the deduction, did you work from home due to COVID-19 for 2020 software is uh, check mark by default. If this is not the situation, you will uncheck for the both of the spouses. So if there is no question to address and there is no other credit to claim, so we will just keep on forwarding by clicking next and skipping the unapplicable steps. For climate action incentive, we need to address these questions. Make sure for people living in urban areas, uh, all the answers will be known. So you are seeing while I am doing the data entry, the data is switching from one spouse to another spouse 
and uh, the profile background be changed with change in color. So if you, for some reason, you want to correct this data, you will know that when you will click back to a previous step, it will bring you from one spouse to another spouse and the background color will tell you whether this is a husband profile or wife profile. So husband profile or the main applicant spouse profile is white in color and the other spouse profile is pink and purple in color. Is the final result for the both returns after uh, optimizing the returns and or questions for whether they want us ask the may return their return by mail or electronic we will address that and our return uh, for both spouses is complete Everything look good and everything looks good. So this is how you will work with a linked return. You will link both couples returns and you will do the data entry simultaneously one by one, paying attention on the background colors, which uh, spouse file you are working on so make sure that uh, the data or receipts you are working on with one of the spouse is should not mixed on the other profiles. And if that's so, just click on previous, go back to the previous steps and correct your data accordingly. Thank you.